Um, so that, there you go, will tell you that it is recording. Um, we'll go through this in a sec, but if you don't want your video to be shown, you can feel free to turn off your video. Um, but welcome everyone. My name is Alexis Miller. We'd like to welcome you to our Virginia Outreach Committee meeting. And Ben and I were just chatting. It is National Volunteer Week. So I want to thank our volunteers for their support. We really couldn't do the work that we do without our volunteers. So thank you all for being here with us tonight. We're excited to share more about what this committee will look like and um, get connected more with you all, um, as well as if you haven't already, uh, RSVP for our movie screening that we're having this week, I'll drop in the link for that too, but it's another part of our thank you to volunteers as well. So with that, I will hop right in. Everyone can see my screen also. I should have checked with you, Ben, right? If you nod your head, I'll, okay. Perfect. Um, so we do want that this is set up as a meeting so folks feel free to unmute mute yourself um, and chime in as well as you can start and stop your video if you're not wanting to be on video whatever you're most comfortable with is fine with us, as well as feel free to drop into the chat and I can read it there. Um, I will apologize I'm like fighting through a cold so hopefully we make it through without any coughing or other issues, and you can all understand me but um, we are working through that right now. So we'll start off with my introduction, and then I'd love to have folks who are on the call um, give some quick introductions as well so we know your background and um, why you guys are all joining us tonight. My name is Alexis Miller, as I mentioned. I'm the Director of Community Impact at Solar United Neighbors, as well as our Atlantic Southeast Community Impact Specialist. Um, Virginia is one of our states in our Atlantic Southeast uh, region, and I live in Phoenix, Arizona now, but lived in Richmond for four years before that. And this picture is me and my family in Richmond. We loved it there and loved Virginia. Um, just moved out here to be a little bit closer to family. Um, with that, I'd love to, I'm gonna turn it over and I'll call on folks if you wanna just unmute yourself, give us an introduction about your name, where you're joining us from in the state and kind of what brings you to the meeting tonight. I uh, would love to hear that as just some reminders. Again, we do want folks to participate, but please be respectful of others. Um, and please make sure to leave space for others. So if you feel like you've been talking a lot, make sure you're leaving space for others to join into the conversation. But with that, I will lead it over to Ben, who is our Virginia program director, and then I'll call on some of our other attendees. Ben? Thanks, Alexis. Hey, uh, Ben Hoyne, as Alexis mentioned, Virginia program director. Uh, been in this role for about six months or so and been at Solar United Neighbors for a year and a half. Uh, I'm based in Richmond as well, and apologies for the glare coming through. Uh, the lights obviously need to get some new blinds or, or something like that. But um, anyways, yeah, so I've uh, been in Richmond for six years and have probably 10 plus years of kind of public policy, advocacy, program work, uh, nonprofit um, work uh, in this space. And um, it's done a lot of work at the General Assembly in Richmond uh, on solar issues and, and other issues and um, passion for renewable energy uh, environmental policy. So uh, thrilled to be here. And thanks, Alexis, for braving uh, your cold. And if you hear kids screaming in the background, my apologies. And those could also be my child as well. So fingers crossed that we have all well-behaved children tonight, but you never know what you're going to get. Um, and I apologize if I mispronounce anyone's names. I've never made it through one of these without messing up someone's name. So, so sorry. But the first person on my list I see is BJ. If you'd like to unmute and uh, introduce yourself, you can also feel free to drop into the chat if you're more comfortable that way. Yeah. Hey, uh, can you hear me? Awesome. Great. Yeah, my name is BJ Berglund. I just uh, came across this group and it seemed uh, interesting. I'm kind of new to solar. I did install some panels on my home. I think it has a lot of benefits. Just would like to learn more and how I could get involved. So I'm here. Perfect. Well, you're at the right meeting to get involved. Uh, awesome. Next, <laughs> Christopher. Hey, everyone. Uh, so, yeah, Chris Jewell. I'm Zooming from Arlington, Virginia. Um, I went solar in 2020, um, not through Solar United Neighbors. I did serve on the selection committee uh, for that year of the co-op, but I had actually worked or, or had a couple vendors come to, my home was under construction at the time. Um, and I just ended up going up 
going with uh, a private vendor um, that had a good good price, um, but really felt like I needed to go solar because my wife and I built a custom home and a lot of trees were cut down um, in the lot. Um, and I just felt like I had to atone for that sin in, in a sense. Um, and we're actually net positive. Um, so I just bought an EV to take advantage of those extra electrons and just trying to you know, live as, um, uh, or minimize the damage, I guess, that we're doing uh, on our time here. Um, and I'm a bike commuter as well, and just uh, just sort of passionate about trying to make sure that we leave the world to our kids and and not too uh, terrible a shape. I love that. That's great. Thanks for sharing, uh, Edward. In very rural Virginia, you're up next. Thank you. Um, raise your hand if you know where Southside is. Okay. There are big parts of Virginia that most Virginians have no clue exist and find on a map. Uh, that's where I live. My husband and I intentionally retired here. Uh, I'm retired from a school of medicine at UVA. My husband's retired from city government. We, we intentionally retired here where rural poor and working class people live. So a lot of my issues with solar build out have to do with a relative or comparative inattention to our issues and priorities and needs. Um, I've had four um, estimates to put solar on my roof or our roof. And the price was so, the differential was so large uh, I, I did get Solar United and another group to look at it and advise me, and uh, that was very helpful. Uh, I know there are many people in this rural area in our little town of Farmville that might be interested, but we mostly have no where to ask questions. <laughs> and it might help for us to ask questions in a forum or as a group. Uh, electric vehicles are kind of a non-starter for most people out here. Um, there's nowhere to buy them or see them where we live. Um, during the pandemic, a couple charging stations were put up in one of our little shopping centers. And for months, I never saw anyone charging. But I will say, last weekend, I saw two cars charging there. So that's good. Thank you. Slowly but surely, right? It'll get there, but thanks for sharing. Uh, Ken, would you like to introduce yourself? Looks like you're still muted, Ken. If you wanna drop into the chat your introduction or I can loop back and I'm um, happy you introduce yourself at the end as well. Uh, Michael? Hey, everybody. Good evening. Um, I'm Michael. I live in Chesterfield, you know, suburbs right outside of Richmond. Um, I had the, you know, one of the worst HOA experiences getting solar approved on my house. And, you know, I'd really just love to be able to, uh, you know, help other people with awful HOA experiences, uh, you know, get through it. It took, you know, legal action and strongly worded letters. So, uh, you know, wasn't ideal, but we're glad we made it, and I'd love to, you know, pay it back. Definitely. Well, wow, that's great to know, and we definitely have a lot of people that struggle with that, so that's good to know we can refer to you and have your experience to share. Thanks for being willing to um, support others through that, and I'm loving the variety of experiences that we're having here. It's great. Ken, it looks like you're unmuted now if you'd like to introduce yeah, I yourself. Yeah, figured it out on my cell phone. Um, Ken Shaw, uh, I am a mostly retired solar contractor since, officially since 76 uh, started and uh, built a passive solar house in 73, 74. Uh, so I have a wide range of experience. Uh, if anyone wants to know more, it's all on my old website, commonwealthsolar.us. But as I said, I am mostly retired now. Uh, but there's a wealth of information on there for folks. So um, 
that's probably all we need. I'm still still kicking and doing some stuff. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing your expertise. Uh, Paul, would you like to introduce yourself? I can see you're trying to talk, but it looks like you're still muted. Oh, there you go. Uh, is that working? Yep, you're good. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, I haven't done a Zoom meeting in a couple of years, so I'm, uh, I have to get used to the technology again. So I'm a retired um, financial manager living in Loudoun County and had a 14 kilowatt system uh, put on my roof two years ago. It'll be two years in May. And um, it's been a really great experience. Although the inverter has, the, the only downside is the inverter has gone out a couple of times. And so I've missed, I've missed about 10 days of generation because of that. But otherwise it's been a fantastic experience and I'm covering all of my energy consumption with generation from, from this system. And I, I really didn't know what to expect when I got it. So that's been a pleasant surprise. And then on top of that, uh, the fairly modest, but still significant income from SREX, uh, which I also wasn't expecting, um, has, has made uh, this economically, um, you know, really valuable. And I think a lot of people don't realize um, just how great the payback can be. Um, I think I may benefit from a fantastic Southern exposure on my roof, but in any case, um, it seems to me that there are a lot of people out here where I live who, who could benefit from this. So I'm, you know, I, I guess I want to be a little bit of an evangelist on this. Great. Well, we'd love to have you help spreading the word to your neighbors. That's definitely what we're going to talk about tonight. So that is perfect. Uh, Scott, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Scott. I, um, Scott Berger. I live in Richmond, Virginia. Um, Ken Shaw actually installed my solar back in 2007. And I recently last year added some more solar to my roof. Um, but I've been a solar advocate for a long, long time. Um, all sorts of ways. I'm a member of the Sierra Club, Green Party. Um, and uh, one of my day jobs right now is selling electric golf carts. So if people can't afford electric cars, think different. Maybe a electric golf cart might be in the future, for, especially in the cities. But anyway, uh, happy to be here. Um, I, I tend to be sometimes vociferous uh, in terms of really going after um, big powers to be. Um, I'm, I'm really a big advocate for muni solar and um, trying to, um, you know, bring back production in the hands of the people instead of Dominion. And uh, yeah, glad to be here. Thank you so much for being here. And it looks like we have one um, person calling in on the 757-701, if you want to introduce yourself. Hello, uh, this is uh, Tom in Jerusalem. Um, I think I registered under a different number, but I had to call from a second phone. Um, so I just want to point out I'm in Suffolk, Virginia, and happen to be driving past the solar farm as we're talking here. Um, I've uh, been involved in church and different friends and family, um, installing them myself, except for the one I'm at church. Um, I uh, owe most of my experience to Ruth McElroy. She first taught me all about the financial side of solar. So I know she's a very uh, out or active solar advocate. Um, and then also uh, the owner of Convert Solar, Chad, I forgot his last name. He taught me all the technical part. <clears throat> so appreciate all of their help. And build. those are both uh, great resources. Uh, Ruth McElroy has several web pages of information. Um, and I know she's also very active on Solar United Neighbors um, email groups that go around. Um, I won't be able to stay on long on this call, but I just wanted to say, you know, please keep me in the loop of what you're doing. 
um, and I uh, look forward to learning more. Awesome. Yeah, we're happy to keep you in the loop. Feel free to drop off when you need to, and I'll be following up afterwards so we can keep in touch. Ruth has definitely been a great partner for us and is a great wealth of knowledge as well. So thanks everyone for introducing yourselves. We'll kick it off and get started chatting more about why we're here tonight. Um, we'll have a couple different chunks of the evening basically talking about what is the outreach committee? What is this meeting? What are we talking about? Then talking about our focus for right now, which will be tabling, talking about Solar United Neighbors, learning a little bit more about us so that you feel confident in sharing about us and using us as a resource as you're sharing with your neighbors about solar um, and then go into some questions and connecting with you all if you have any other thoughts and ideas from there so we will dive in so why are we here tonight again this is our outreach committee meeting our first one that we've had for virginia so our goal for our outreach committee is to have a group of trained folks who are ready to spread solar and spread um, the good word about solar and solar united neighbors throughout Virginia. Um, since we, Ben and I, cannot be everywhere throughout Virginia, but we have a lot of requests and there are a lot of like folks that you guys could reach to um, that we couldn't get to. Um, we just want to build our team of folks who are knowledgeable and ready to be deployed. So generally what this would look like is having a monthly check-in where we'll be talking about recent outreach that you might have done, answering questions, going through problem solving of things that you've run into, as well as um, doing report backs. If you went and you tabled on an event, sharing about that with other folks and doing any updated trainings that we might need to if we find there's like a gap in knowledge or let's say we have a new co-op opening and we'll chat about that so that folks are up to date about what's happening um, on our end so that you're able to share about that adequately. Um, so that's an overview about it. We'll chat more about what tabling looks like and more about Solar United Neighbors, but feel free to ask any questions that you might have. I'll we'll try to keep my eye on the chat as well as feel free to unmute or raise your hand and I'm happy to answer questions that way as well. Um, so diving into tabling, as I mentioned, for our outreach committee, we'll have a focus on tabling right now, which um, if folks want to raise their hand if they've done tabling before or you can drop into the chat. A lot of folks have been familiar or seen it around, um, but basically tabling is going to an event. It could be a farmer's market, it could be, we have Earth Day coming up this week, so it could be an Earth Day event um, where we have a table similar to the one in this image where it shows um, us, those are two staff members in Indiana, staff and a volunteer actually, who are able to be there and answer questions, chat about Solar United, neighbors, chat about solar um, with folks who are interested in learning more. Um, so there are two pieces of this. Why do we table and why is it important to have volunteers and community members tabling? So people are much more likely to go solar if they know someone who has gone solar and have a personal connection with that. You know someone was mentioning they have a lot of neighbors that they feel like would be a good fit for solar. So them seeing your house going solar and being able to have your story and base to that makes it more real and more of a possibility for more folks to go. I see Edward saying he's had boosts and tables at countless public health events. So glad to have your expertise. Feel free to throw out any other ideas you have as well. Um, but most importantly, you are the most effective messenger um, as a community member talking to other community members. Um, if someone comes up to my door and is a salesperson for solar, for pest control, for anything, I'm less likely to trust them than I am to trust um, if my neighbor tells me about this new thing that they tried out. So just to be able to spread our reach and be able to have um, a more personal connection to solar, um, as well as tabling is a great way to be able to reach folks at different events that um, we might not be able to have an audience at um, without that. So we want you sharing it with your neighbors, but also going to other events and things where we can continue to spread the word. So by the end of this training, Hope you all feel comfortable talking uh, to, about solar with your neighbors, know more about Solar United Neighbors and the kind of um, resources that we have. What do we do? How can we help folks and be ready to volunteer locally? So hopping into our tabling basics, um, it sounds like some people have tabled before, some people maybe haven't, but our general goals for tabling 
is just to help people get access to more information about going solar. And this can look different um, based on what folks is, uh, who are coming to the table, what their needs and interests are. But um, the main way to do that is to have folks sign up for our Sun email list, and then they're able to be involved um, and know when we have a co-op opening, when we have an event about battery storage, they'll get those emails. So they're able to be um, in the loop about the information that we have to share. But we could also share with them about open or joining a local co-op if we have one that's open or downloading a resource guide um, to learn more about battery storage, selling their solar home, et cetera, um, or just to get more answers to questions. So we will provide resources. We'll chat through stuff tonight, but then we also have resources to help folks be armed and ready to table. Um, that includes, we have a tips and tricks sheet that kind of goes over the high level overview of stuff we talk about tonight, as well as our sign in sheet where folks can sign up to get our emails. And then we have some like handouts that you're able to give folks. So that's F FAQs about solar, how um, we can help folks go solar. If there's a co-op, we'll have a co-op flyer, things like that, as well as just some materials um, that help to make it fun to talk about solar. So some graphics and um, examples of installations and things like that, as well as I mentioned, there could be advocacy um, items or solar co-ops just depending on. Um, what we have going on at the time, but the main materials we're able to provide for you so that you're armed and ready to go for any event. Yeah, Ben? Uh, I'll just hop in. Um, yeah. You know, just so it doesn't seem overwhelming, I think everybody on this call has, you know, the experience you all have at this point is tremendous. I mean, I heard, you know, somebody talk about how they called their help desk and they got help with solar proposals, um, knowing about that we can help with HOAs, right? There was a, uh, being the eyes and ears on the ground, I see in the chat folks recommending us doing a, an SREC webinar, which is great to hear. We've kind of been kicking that around internally. Like, oh, we should do it. But like, the fact that like, this, I think there was three different people that were chatting about SRECs on the chat just now. So it's like, it kind of tells me and Alexis that we should, we should definitely do an SREC webinar this summer or something like that. And so, but knowing that, that Solar United Neighbors does that and again as you all know we're, we're not a solar company we're not trying to sell people solar uh, we're trying to be a, a neutral kind of third party uh, honest assessment of things also doing things at the general assembly uh, you know one of which is on consumer protection for solar there's there uh, there's some unscrupulous folks out there that are coming in and so anyways it's not to say you need to know all of that and everything that we do um, you know it's just and, and there might look, it might be overwhelming, like, oh, there's all this stuff in the kit and that sort of thing. But really, it's just, you know, you could talk about one thing and maybe it's two or maybe it's three. Uh, and that's tremendous. And just really, uh, I mean, to Alexis's point, you know, uh, we can't be everywhere. I mean, she's in Arizona. So it's really me in, in Virginia. Earth Day is coming up on Saturday, right? I'll be in Virginia Beach at the Earth Day Fair. I think I got invited to four or five different Earth Day events on Saturday across Virginia, right? And those are the ones that, that reached out to me. And so um, certainly there'll be uh, energy fairs and obviously farmers markets and, and a, a wealth of places for folks uh, that if you want to get out and meet your community, uh, you can certainly do that. Um, and you don't need to be an expert uh, on much. Just know that the Solar United Neighbors exists and, and we, we're here to help. Um, and, and, you know, we can we can take the ball and, and, and move it from there. Thanks, Alexis. Yeah, thanks, Ben. We'll, we'll add a little bit more about that so you guys have some information about that. Definitely don't need to be experts, as we mentioned, you being able to share your story and then refer folks to us. I have some easy links and things for you to remember that will just like direct people straight to us so they can chat with Ben or our other Go Solar experts in their area. So um, we will chat more about Maybe I should have flipped these, but we will chat about tabling, then we'll chat about sun. But um, so sorry for any confusion around that. Um, and Edward, do love to hear that <laughs> we do like to emphasize that we are vendor neutral and a nonprofit. So keep that in mind, folks, that um, that's a big piece to our uh, work. But what to expect when tabling? Um, 
so, so just some tips and tricks and anyone who's tabled, feel free to add in. But um, again, we don't feel like you got to chat with everyone that comes by, but if someone seems like they're indicating that they'd like to chat with you, we just recommend starting with a, hey, how are you? Do you have any questions about solar? Do you have a minute to talk about solar? Just like general open-ended questions um, and to not be offended if folks want to, if they don't want to stop and just continue going or if they do want to stop, can have that conversation, share with them about you are a volunteer for Solar United Neighbors. We're a nonprofit that helps people to go solar, join together, fight for their energy rights, um, and then any other um, things that apply to that conversation. And then before they leave, just trying to get their contact information um, on the sign-in sheet or giving them a flyer from us so that they're able to connect with the resources that we have. Um, keeping in mind, again, as we said, you don't need to be the expert. We have two easy references for you, our help desk at solarunitedneighbors.org or VA team at solarunitedneighbors.org connects to all of our Go Solar experts um, who are ready to answer questions. If they don't know the answer, they'll research and figure it out. So that's, I turn people to that all the time, even on webinars like this when I don't have the answers because I'm not trained to be one of those folks. So feel free to refer anyone to that. Um, and we really just want to be respectful to folks and their opinions and um, their preferences. So don't be offended when people don't stop. And um, we want to emphasize that talking to even just one person makes a difference. That's one person that we couldn't have reached um, without your support. So even just one conversation from a tabling event makes a big difference or one conversation with your neighbors makes a big difference to help um, spread the word. Um, sometimes you might have people who don't agree with you. Everyone's coming uh, to the table with different backgrounds and experiences and relationships. And just want to remind folks to not take that personally. Uh, people just typically want to get their opinions heard. So feel free to listen to folks. Say, I hear you. I understand where you're coming from and no need to argue with folks. Um, just move on after that and you'll have another positive conversation, I'm sure, shortly after. But we just want to keep... Um, overall positive um, with the folks that we interact with. So here's the sun ba basics for us. Ben, feel free to add in if you have any other things. Um, so it sounded like we had some folks who have gone through our co-op process before, as well as some folks who have received help through our help desk, which sort of the surfaces we'll chat about. Um, but I'm curious um, if anyone well, I'll dive in actually before I put anyone on the spot. But uh, our solar 101 basics about Sun is that we are a vendor neutral 501c3 nonprofit. Just a reminder of that. Keep that in mind. Um, you'll have a sign for tabling that says that as well for folks. We're not a solar installation company and we don't um, choose any of those. They are, we're vendor neutral. And our mission is to help folks to go solar, join together, and fight for their energy rights. A little bit more about that and the pieces of what that looks like. Um, so you're familiar is that we help folks to go solar through two main ways, which is our solar co-ops and the other way is through going solar on your own. I'll chat about those a little bit more um, on the next slide. Then we also help folks to join together, which is through things like this, through happy hours. We have a solar celebration happening in Virginia Beach um, in two days. If anyone's located around there, come and join Ben for a drink on Thursday night. Um, but bringing folks together who are solar supporters and then fighting for our energy rights. So that can look like, as someone mentioned, the HOAs uh, or the consumer protection bill that Ben was talking about um, this year, um, but really just trying to make sure that everywhere has equitable solar policies and that solar is accessible to everyone. So we call this a self-fulfilling circle. So as we help more folks to go solar, there's more people to join together, more people to fight for their energy rights, and then there's more people to go solar and it goes around and around. So thank you guys for being a part of that circle. So again, the two different ways um, we can help folks go solar. Would anyone who, yeah, Ben? I was gonna say, I can, I can save your voice a little bit and hop in if you want, um, just to let you know, yeah. So how we, we help folks go solar. I think traditionally people know that a, a co-op, that's in essence a bulk buying group 
right? And so it's a, a group of folks that, that we organize to get together, that kind of leverage uh, numbers to, to get a, a bulk discount. Uh, primarily, we're doing that in three regions nowadays, uh, Northern Virginia, uh, which will be launching, we'll have a co-op there that I think that's going to launch in May. Um, Hampton Roads, we're actually launching our co-op on Saturday at the at the Earth Day uh, in Virginia Beach. Uh, so those two will be this spring. And then the Richmond area, so not just Richmond, but Henrico and Chesterfield and whatnot, uh, will likely be in the fall. So kind of the, the urban crescent, so to speak, will, has kind of... Uh, uh, enough critical mass to to leverage those those bulk discounts, um, but we're not uh, neglecting the rest of the Commonwealth. Um, you know that's where folks have gone solar on their own. We've done co-ops in you know Harrisonburg, Roanoke, Farmville, etc. Uh, in the past, and we're kind of trying to to thread the needle between on your own and a co-op uh, along the I eighty one corridor at least, kind of from you know Blacksburg up to to Harrisonburg and. Charlottesville, then Lynchburg, and kind of that whole area, that would probably be in the fall as well. And so um, you don't need a, to memorize that or know that. Just again, important to know, like generally, uh, you know, we have we have co-ops usually about once a year in kind of the, you know, the I-95 to over to Hampton Roads uh, corridor, uh, but we're also help folks go solar south side Virginia, uh, you know, or or anywhere else in, in the Commonwealth and really will help people uh, beyond Virginia. You might meet somebody that, that lives in North Carolina or West Virginia is just in town visiting, uh, certainly help help them go solar as well. Uh, so those are the two kind of primary ways that, that folks uh, go solar with, with SUN's assistance. Thanks, Ben. Appreciate you hopping in. Does no. anyone have any questions about that um, process, whether you went through the co-op or not? Can I ask a question? It's Edward. Of course. So uh, Mr. Hoynes uh, mentioned the Farmville Co-op, which I was aware of. So I would say if I were to present a table or at an event in Farmville, it, it would be pretty illegitimate of me not to have somebody from that co-op with me. So uh, because they could give a direct affirmation uh, and I think that was formed in 2016 or something like that. So a little bit a while ago. So it would be important for me to be in contact with somebody who is currently served by that Farmville area co-op. So uh, you don't need to answer right now. I don't want to take other people's time, but that's a, a note. Can I be in touch with them? You don't have to answer now, but <laughs> totally. <laughs> it's a thought. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. I think there's two pieces of that, and Ben, feel free to add on if you have any thoughts. But um, that would be great to have folks who have been through the co-op to talk about it. But I also think that area we wouldn't have a co-op right then. You'd be promoting going solar on your own, so it's not like you have to have someone who has been through the co-op. We're totally open to if you find an event that you want to go table at. I'm reaching out to the volunteers in your area and seeing if there are other folks that can join you. So we're definitely open to helping out with that as opportunities come up. Um, ben, do you have other thoughts? Yeah, I think I think that's right on. I think um, I think it's a great point, Edward. I, I think we would do our best, but obviously, to your point, I think the Farmville Co-op, like you said, was you know 2016 was what seven years ago. So there should be a lot of satisfied customers. Um, whether they want to spend their Saturday or whatnot, uh, tabling is, is uh, you know, uh, an open question. So we certainly could reach out, you know, if you identified a place and uh, we would love to reach out uh, and, and try to get folks to table, but um, we'll just have to take that, you know, when the, the time comes. Thanks for that, Edward. Um, we'll go on to our next slide, just kind of some tips about the co-op, why co-ops are important. Um, ben mentioned pieces of this as well, but helps to get you a good value on your installation, support throughout the process. Sorry, Mike, but you get to have Ben guide you throughout the process, there to answer questions, as well as our other Go Solar folks. Um, get to go solar with your neighbors, have that connection and community, um, as well as become part of Solar United Neighbors. Long-term, um, 
The piece I don't know that we mentioned is that also the co-op members are the ones who pick the installer. So we don't pick the installer. Um, there's a selection committee that I know someone was on, I think it was Chris um, said he had been on the selection committee, but that that's a group of folks from the co-op that they select who the installer will be. So it's all done through the co-op members, super community driven. Um, and then what else do we have to offer at Solar United Neighbors? We have resources for solar owners. So that could be um, guides on how to install battery storage and tips and tricks on that or how to sell your solar home. We do webinars on those topics as well um, and other community events like the fun like movie screening this month or things like that for folks to be able to connect with other solar supporters. Um, then we've talked about how we do advocacy and then our community piece. So some key things, we help you to go solar, as we've mentioned, through the co-op or through going solar on your own. We can support you after you've gone solar and we want to help more folks go solar. With that, I think it goes yeah, to our solar basics. I'm going to stop sharing my screen and did not stop it. Here we go. Um, uh, ben, do you have anything that you want to add on those points before we turn it over and see if folks have questions and I can chat about next steps? No, I think you covered it. Thanks, Alexis. Yeah, so folks are aware kind of what we would ideally like this to look like because I can send folks materials and help you to find events that are happening um, in your community. As Ben mentioned, this is like a very heavy time with Earth Day. And then as we go into the summer, there's tons of things happening. Um, so it can help connect you to events that you can attend. Um, we'll send out like some other resources and materials that you can um, review if that would make you feel more comfortable. And I'm always happy to jump on a call to chat with folks beforehand. Um, just to make sure you're feeling comfortable for tabling. Um, but that's kind of our general lay of the land. And then we'll meet again next month and connect with folks and see how things have been going and next steps and ideas. Does anybody have questions or thoughts for Ben or I? So, so you will be letting us know about tabling opportunities. We don't have to have like our ears to the ground to figure out where we might fit in yeah i think it'd be great to have it go both ways if you hear about things that are coming up in your community and can share those with us to be able to um, sign up for we're happy to pay for those spots and things like that but then also especially with our folks that i know are on this call and want to be involved i'm happy to do some research on those areas and find what's coming up gotcha. yeah let's add a like um like earth day to the to, you know that people reach out but you, you're going to know best right in your local spot like oh hey there's and it also kind of depends on how much time you want to do it and what what days you're available, right? Like there might be a farmer's market every Wednesday, but you're not going to do that because it doesn't work for you. But, you know, Saturday, uh, you know, or, you know, oh, there's always this big energy fair. Like I know in Arlington, we'll have a big energy fair in May or something like that. So we hear things, if you hear things or, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be a, a solar, you know, specific thing, a, a thing that where the community comes together um you know my neighborhood in richmond there there's going to be like this uh day drinking free music uh in the neighborhood where where people walk around on saturday i will be in virgin beach at at the earth day event but like that'd be the kind of thing if you're like oh there's this thing and if i set up a table there's gonna be a ton of folks walking around like you know we're we're flexible we're open uh, i think yeah traditionally it's gonna be your earth days your energy fairs your farmers markets uh, you know, native native plant uh, fair, what you know, anything like that. Um, those are those are great ideas. But we'll probably, frankly, mostly rely on you because all we're going to hear about is kind of the the big things. Um, but if there's something in your neighborhood or elsewhere, um, please let us know. Scott, I see your idea, and I love that we have. I don't know if you've seen our um, youth kit that where they do solar ovens. So we've had like Girl Scout troops and things do similar activities, but it would fun, be fun to see what people could come up with. Um, does anyone good, else? Oh, yeah. Some good solar oven picnics. <laughs> yeah, we got to get creative here, folks. So if anyone has any creative ideas, we're all ears. Um, anyone else have thoughts or questions?
we just want to thank everybody for you know their willingness to to be on this call and again i mean we we don't expect folks to go table every week or 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 even every month i mean if if that's time in your life that you have and you're able to do that it's wonderful we're, we're thrilled um but even if you did it once a year or once a quarter you know really whatever you're able to do is, is appreciated because to Alexis's point you know if you talk to one person um that that can make a big difference I mean it's amazing I'll, I'll be talking to somebody um you know I was at the, like the doctor's office a few weeks ago sorry my child's trying to get candy from me or something but <laughs> stop uh sorry uh kind of lost my train of thought anyways was at the doctor's office and was like talking to the nurse you know killing time and happened to mention solar and she's like oh i want to go solar and then it was like yeah I just gave her my card it was like we'll just reach out you know blah 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 like and she's reached out to our help desk and is, is starting to ask questions and it's just you know just make make connections in in the most random of, of places and so um, you know, if you if you put yourself out there again, where, wherever it works for you and in your schedule, um, you know, somebody will come across your your path that that might need this help, and we appreciate you all getting the getting the word out. And I'll second that. Thanks, Ben. I appreciate your inspiration there. And um, it looks like we're all good with questions. Then, so all wrap us up, but I'll follow up with an email from me, as well as I'll include Ben's email, our, our Virginia um, team email that you can connect with us at any time at. Um, and we'll chat more about next steps and opportunities coming up. But again, we really appreciate you guys taking the time tonight and taking the time in the future to um, help build the solar movement throughout Virginia. And thank you all and hope you have a great rest of your evening. Get well soon, thank Alexis. Uh, thank you so much. Appreciate everyone's patience. <laughs> Take care of that voice. <laughs> thank you, guys. Uh, thank, thank you, Alexis. Thank you, Ben. We appreciate you. Thanks, everybody. Bye, Bye everyone.